Hey James at Barber Creek. We're gonna take this scope that I have on the skull gun, which is the track torque. And it has my reticle inside of it. And of course, the turret that I designed. Now, why am I doing this? And why are we talking about this? Cause we've already discussed the track scopes. Well, this has been on the gun for well over a year and we've run the snot out of it. So what I'm gonna do now is take it over to the jig and let's see if it tracks like it did, all right? So when I get over there, I'll give you the numbers of what it used to track, and then we're gonna find out what it tracks today and see if it's lost any tracking and end up with backlash. So let's find out, stand by. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and run it. We'll go 30 minutes. All right, I can see exactly where it is. We'll do it about two or three times, 30 minutes. Same place, let me back up so I can see it. All right, got it. Okay, one more time. There it is, same place. All right, let me uh, get out the measuring device and we will measure it out with the Bosch and make sure we got the distance and we'll talk about it. So I'm measuring it here with the Bosch. And again, like I said in other videos, you wanna go center of the turret down to the target. Okay, so I got the distance. Let's do the math and let's see what this thing tracks. All right, so we just got back from running the tall target test on the, again, the track torque 5 to 25 with the Eagleman long range hunting reticle inside of it. I know you can't see it. Uh, nice numbers though. All right, so here's what we got. By the way, uh, this is an Android. So this is the first test of our Eagle Ballistics app on an Android. I just got to get used to running it. So here we go. So... Let's see, 1,000 yards. I'm just playing with it. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to go inside of it. I'm going to use the calculator because this also has a calculator in it. So I'm going to go to settings. And I don't know how to do a screen record on this, so I'll kind of show you as I go. Currently, this scope tracks 0 0.99337. 0 0.9933, yeah, 337. So I'm gonna click on our scope correction factor calculator. We did the test at 21.9366356 yards. I'm gonna hit set. We did 30 minutes. We dialed 30 minutes and it actually moved six point, I wrote it all down, nine, three, seven, five. That was the amount of inches that it moved and hit set. And you can see where it shows you the current correction factor and the calculated. And yep, there it is. Well, it basically says unchanged. Well, look at that. See, I couldn't see it when I'm looking through here. So it still tracks 0.99337. So bottom line is, let me set that by the way, the scope with over a year of running and running and running and running and students running it over and over and over and over again, did not change tracking whatsoever. That's pretty amazing if you think about it. So anyway, I just kind of want to give you a brief about it. Um, I'm going to do this on all my school gun scopes because I have to check them out. Um, I've seen some scopes where they start off great and a year later, two years later, after running the heck out of them, they end up changing tracking. And that minor error, whatever it would be, would make a big difference at longer ranges. So anyway, uh, kudos to the track guys. This thing is still tracking. <laughs> That's kind of funny. But anyway, it's still tracking perfectly, exactly like it was over a year ago. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day and stand by for the next videos.